What's going on guys? We're back again with a new video. Today we're showing you how to do firmware on a C754. Really simple, really easy. Okay, so first things first, you want to download your firmware file. It will look like this. Go ahead and double click it and hit extract. It's going to extract to uh, a folder. I usually like to keep mine on, com on my computer and then switch it over to my flash drive just in case anything ever happens to the flash drive. Okay, this file is now extracted. It'll look like that up top that starts with the A2. Go ahead and double click it. And then double click it again. And these are all your firmware files. You can go ahead and hit Control A or just select all of them. And then right click, hit copy. And then go over to your flash drive. I already have it here. I'm going to delete it so we can do it again for you. So basically you'll put this in the root of your flash drive. Just go ahead and just have everything deleted just like that. Have it nice and blank. And then right click, hit paste. If you do not do it this way, the machine will not recognize it. Trust me, I've tried. As soon as this is done copying everything over, you can go ahead and eject your flash drive and then head over to the machine. Go ahead and turn off your main power. Let's do that first. Then you're going to come along the side here, open up this little door. There's one screw here on the right hand side. Just go ahead and undo that screw there. Get your flash drive ready. Lift this flap open. And go ahead and put your flash drive in right there. Then come along the front and turn your power back on. And then uh, give it a couple minutes to boot up into the firmware menu. Okay. okay, now you could just go ahead and select start if this is just an upgrade. But if this is going to be your first time um, flashing on the machine, you will need to select machine type. And the service manual will let you know how to select what type of machine you have to go ahead and uh, upgrade. But for the most of us, all you have to do is hit start. And here we go. And after this is done, you'll see it complete. We'll pause the video and come back in a minute. Okay, and as the firmware comes winding down, you should get a blue start button for one. You should see that uh, everything says download complete under MFP controller, scanner, printer, ADF finisher, all has download complete with checksums next to them. You can verify those checksums if you want, but they usually work just fine. Now what we're going to do is turn off the main power, pull out your USB drive, don't forget to put the screw back in. Then turn the main power back on. Now, the first step, we just downloaded the firmware. Now the firmware is going to write. So don't be freaked out if this takes a couple of minutes uh, on this screen here. Just let that sit for a couple minutes and you'll be good to go. All right, took about three, four minutes and we're back up and running ready to copy everything is looking good so firmware installed successfully thank you guys again check you on the next video